Look, I don't know what these Doctor Who cards say, but a patron pointed out that the master multiplied, or the Saxon master. Oh, new voice. Hello. Hello. Lethals the table in three attacks. As the first attack, the master's myriad creates three more copies tapped in attacking, who persist through combat thanks to master's static ability. Then, oh, you're gonna love this. Those four will make three more tokens each on the second combat, giving you a total of 16 4 3 masters, which is a total of 64 damage. By the third attack, you'll have 64 masters and deal 256 damage in total, which is more than enough to spread across the last two opponents who you haven't taken out yet. I hate to say it, but damn, that sounds good. Quick shout out to my Patreon if you haven't joined. We have a very friendly and active community of brewers. You also get access to a lot of articles and decks that I don't have time to edit yet way in advance. So it's a pretty good use of $3. Back to the video. Here comes the drum! The color identity of the master helps with getting the master out early in the game. Like many of the top chonkers we've been seeing well in the scene, like Atraxa, Atali, and Tivit. Six mana isn't a problem when your deck has Jeweled Lotus and Red and Black Rituals, especially so when you're Rakdos and you have both. Going back to an earlier video about deck building, let's envision how the Saxon Master will dominate the game and beyond. Our plan is to play the Master when we need to, protect the Master, and create an environment where we can go to beats three times to lethal the table. Our deck design choices should be centered around this game plan. This means cards like Combat Celebrant, Final Fortune, and Last Chance allows us to drum up more attacks to shorten the time it takes for the Saxon Master to create enough copies of himself. I'm everyone, and everyone in the world is me. I'm president. When a deck doesn't have stack interaction, we need ways to throw off our opponents with the usual mana efficient stacks answers. But let's focus our attention on the unique ways we can have a control plan through the Saxon Master's token myriad ability. There is only the Master Race. <laughs> Knowing that we could have an excess number of tokens and creatures, the deck plays cards like Goblin Bombardment and Contamination as ways to disrupt our opponents. We can also synergize with all these attackers with cards like Grim Hireling or Professional Facebreaker to refund us more mana per attack and play more stacks pieces or permanents to put the table in check. <laughs> Florian, Voldir, and Scion can also be very powerful here to make sure we continue to hit our land drops or have more cards to play each turn. The Saxon Master provides a very unique ability where your creature tokens cannot be sacrificed or exiled through triggered abilities. This means if we play dual caster twin flame combos, twin flame and heat shimmer can create clones that will permanently stay on board because the master cancels the delay trigger created by the spell. This means those spells become much more powerful, along with interesting cards like Determined Iteration, which populates your creature tokens at the beginning of combat for just two mana. Basically, um, end of the world. Other cards that the master's ability breaks includes other temporary clone creatures, like Jaxus the Troublemaker, Ortheon, Hero of Lava Brink, Rionia, Fire Dancer, Felden of the Third Path, and Kikijiki, Mirror Breaker. Because we're already playing Kikijiki, we might as well throw in a zealous conscripts to add another line while we're at it. You see, I'm not making myself very clear. Funny is like this. Not funny is like this. And right now, I'm not like, I'm like. There's one last thing I wanted to cover about this deck, which was in the title. The scam part of the deck. What? I took some inspiration from the modern deck I've been playing the most, which is Rakdos Scam. I know, boo, scam, boo. The infamous combo where an opponent can evoke a grief and play not dead after all to thought seize you twice and keep a 4-3 menace creature on turn one. Now, we're not doing that with this deck, but I did figure we can play both of these parts for different reasons. 
Not dead after all and undying evil are great single mana counter spells to negate destroy effects on our key creatures like our 4-3 commander who dies to a single bolt that people play for Dreadith Magistrate. The problem however is CEDH removal is more centered around bouncing permanents or exiling them, which these scam spells don't really protect us from. This is also why I included Bolt Bend, which only costs one red when the master is in play to swat away the removal, and Wild's Reversal which can also copy the spell to remove something else while deflecting. I'm also playing equipment like Lightning Greaves and Swiftfoot Boots to protect the master and also to get him attacking immediately, along with Commander's Plate which basically makes the master safe from most single target removal aside from Deadly Rollick. What about the other part of the scam? Given that our deck can create persistent copies of creatures, creatures of ETBs are especially powerful. We can evoke a grief to rip apart one opponent's hand, then activate a card like Felden to create another copy to Thossie's another player and keep the 3-2 each turn. It happens that Grief and Fury both give us strong axes of control, as Grief attacks combo decks especially well, while Fury is the best way to control the board and be an incredibly powerful attacker. We can also copy creatures like Dalvi Voidwalker to cast more spells that get exiled with void counters, or Orcish Bowmaster to double punish a draw or grow an army. The master might not be the strongest CDH commander around, but being a foe and a Gila in good colors with unique play and synergy allows him to become a very fun commander to include in your rotation. And who knows, maybe the master might be the new slicer and find himself duplicated everywhere across your pods. <laughs> if you are a Rakdos fiend like me as well, you definitely want to check out this deck tech for Rowan Sion of War for another fast storm list with unique tools enabled by the commander. Thanks for watching. Bye.